Hey Canucks fans, let's spend a few minutes talking about the team's goaltending. I'm Clay Emo, I'm at Canuck Clay on Twitter, I'm at Clayton Emo on Instagram, I'm the founder of the GLCPC, the Good Looking Canucks Positivity Club. This is my Canucks take all in one take, it's Clay's Canucks commentary for Wednesday, March the 3rd. This is where you get Canucks insight that's positive and timely. Shout out to my Hall of Fame members, Jens95, Sim Alexander, Just Incredible, Canucks fan number 29, and Lucas Gates. Thank you for your continued support, and thanks to the support of all the members of all levels. Your names are listed in the video description. If you want to join the CCC crew, please do so by pressing the join button underneath any of my videos or checking out the memberships tab on my YouTube page. Speaking of memberships, no, I'll, I'll back up. I was so excited last night. I was excited to celebrate three things, and two of them were for, for sure, and then one of them um, obviously didn't work. So the first one I was ex excited yesterday because I did pass 6,000 subscribers. Thanks to all of your, um, for your kind words. And more importantly, thank you for being so loyal to me through uh, not only the months, but for some of you through the years, I, I appreciate you and I do not take you for granted. The second thing I was excited about to celebrate last night is I now have a sponsor for my post game live streams from now until the end of the season. And that is Monkey Nine Brewing, the Monkey Nine Brew Pub in the Richport Entertainment District um, of Richmond. Six Road and Season, where the bowling alley is, the movie theaters, and the old spaghetti factories there too, and the ice rink, and the and the what else is there? Ice rink. Oh, and Water Mania. So a lot of stuff out there. But yes, Monkey Nine Brewing is going to be sponsoring my my live streams, post game live streams for the rest of the season. So thanks to the good people there, and I'll be doing um, uh, a giveaway with them in the next week or so. So look for that. And lastly, so that was number one, six thousand subscribers. Number two sponsorship on my post game live streams and number three i was ready to celebrate a canucks win by the way i mentioned the members thing because uh, i had a goal for six thousand subscribers uh, for february 28th i had a goal of six thousand subscribers and 30 members well i'm happy to say i hit six thousand subscribers on march the second uh, on march the first and i hit 30 the channel members on march the second so i was only one day and two days late respectively but uh appreciate everyone uh, supporting and however they can so let's talk about uh, one of the reasons, I wouldn't say it's the biggest reason, but uh, um, one of the reasons why the Canucks lost last night, and that's because of um, less than stellar goaltending, this time from Braden Holtby. Now, I like Braden Holtby. He's only a few seasons removed from a Stanley Cup win, a Vesna Trophy, and I'm not going to play the second-guessing game about um, should we have signed him or not to that two-year $4 million dollars. Uh, I think it's 4.3 actually, but $4 million a year. And back at the time that the Canucks signed him, there were other options out there, but this, this signing was relatively, I wouldn't say universally um, applauded, but it was, it was uh, definitely met with more positive than negative. Cause you looked at some of the other people that are out there like Talbot, Smith, Matt Murray, and not all, uh, you know, everyone's had up and down seasons. But in Braden Hopi, you, um, you could go right across the league and you'd say, you know, given that he could have been the starter, as, he was a starter as, as late as last year, as recently as last year, you could argue that the Canucks had one of the best um, backups in the entire in the entire league. And that's only if you were willing to see, uh, concede that Thatcher Demko was a starter. In fact, you might remember Braden Hopi started the season for the Canucks. And it was Thatcher Demko that basically had to wrestle that job away from um, Holtby, which it seems like he has. And I'll get to this, their stats in a second. But I bring this up because, obviously, Thatcher Demko got the shutout, his first regular season shutout, on Monday night. So there are a lot of thoughts that maybe he should play Tuesday night. It's the same team, the Winnipeg Jets. He's confident. They're not confident. He might be in their head. There's no travel. Blah, blah, blah. So... I, I even said on Monday night, it wouldn't surprise me if Demko was the starter. But we know that Travis Green, uh, probably in consultation with Ian Clark, decided to name uh, to go with Braden Holtby. And if you use the argument that Demko had already played three games in a row, you don't want to uh, you know risk injury back-to-back. -back. And um, the fact that the Canucks had the two games against Toronto coming up Thursday and Saturday may, with a bit of travel home, maybe you want to save Demko for those two. I didn't necessarily agree with that. I'm not just saying this because because Holtby uh, wasn't good last night. But if you think that you're not going to beat Toronto, but you have a chance to beat Winnipeg again, 
I would have gone with Demko truly. And I said this Monday night, I would have gone with Demko last night as well, Monday night, Tuesday night. And then you can give Holtby game one of Toronto and give Vancouver, uh, give Vancouver, give Demko game two of Toronto because um, I don't think anyone's thinking that you're going to sweep Toronto. You might split, but likely you might lose both. So why not try and win both of the Winnipeg games and then lose, then you might lose both of the Toronto games or maybe you sneak one of the two wins out. Instead, the Canucks, if you argue that Holtby gave them a lesser chance of winning, now you're not even going to win the second game of the Winnipeg, and then you still might lose the two against Toronto. So that was my thinking. So for everyone that said, no, it makes sense, four games in six nights, rest, Holt, uh, rest Demko, let him rest for the Toronto series, I would have looked at it as the Canucks are doing everything that they can to get in the playoffs. They have the better chance to win this very important game if it was Demko and Net and not Holtby. So that was my reasoning. Now, when you look at the stats for, and we I, we don't have to go through all the all the goals. I did that yesterday already, both uh, in my live stream and, and in my post game recap. But you just look at the stats and remember, hope we started the season. The Canucks are now twenty six games in the season. Demko has started fifteen of them, and Holtby has started eleven of them. So it's now fifteen to eleven, which is even more than the split that I expected. But I I, I, I remember at the start of the year, I would say I expect a fifty five to 60% split, uh, 55 to 60% for Demko. So it's starting to get into those numbers. But So 15 starts for Demko, 11 starts for Holtby. Demko's record is 5, 9, and 1. So he wins basically one-third of his games. That's not good. 5, 9, and 1. No, that doesn't add up to it. Yeah, no, he did, he's done 15 games. 5, 9, and 1, whereas Holtby in his 11 games is 4, 6, and 1. So they both have an overtime loss or an extra time loss. So five, nine, and one. Yeah, both overtimes within 30 seconds. Five, nine, and one for Demko. Four, six, and one for Holtby. So in 15 games, Holt, uh, Demko only has one more win than Holtby. So that's that's the only stat that Holtby has, has a better winning percentage, you could say, at four, six, and one, as opposed to Demko's five, nine, and one. You look at save percentage, which most people looks at more, more importantly now than goes against the average. In save percentage, Demko's at 907. And hope he's only at 893. You want to get to at least 900 for your save percentage, 90% obviously. And the good goaltenders are in the nine high 915s to 920s, even over 920, 925, 930, which is crazy. But yes, uh, Demko's at 907, so barely over 900. And hope he's at 893. Then you look at the goals against average, maybe not as important anymore because that's, that's, you know, there's more factors there. But still, you can use it. And remember back in the day, you want a goalie that had two or less or maybe even 2.3, 2 2.4. Demko's at 3.06, and Hopi's at 3.56. That's not good. A whole half a goal a game more is Hopi. Like I said, 3.56 versus 3.06. So that means Hopi's stat line across the board is 4, 6, and 1, 8.93 save percentage, 3.56 goals against average. Those are not good numbers. And again... He's not the reason why the Canucks aren't in the playoff hunt, but he hasn't been the difference maker on the positive side either. And I, I said this many times. You could, I, I'd say maybe you could say that Demko's a stolen or at least being the main reason why the Canucks have won a couple games. But I don't think you could say that for Holtby. And Holtby's four wins, would you say that it's, they won because of Holtby? Maybe maybe only one of them. But um, and, and people on my live stream even were asking me last night, do you think the Canucks play better in front of Demko? than they do in front of Holtby. And I'd say in general terms, no. I don't think that's the case. In fact, you think the Canucks would play a bit better in front of Holtby if they thought that uh, he was the lesser goalie of the two. And I, I don't think anyone thinks he's the lesser goalie of the two. He just had a, a tougher start. People were excited about this tandem. But I will say last night, the Canucks did have more um, breakdowns um, than they have had in the past three weeks. You think of the lot of line getting caught in the first goal, leading to that three on two. Then the second goal was a bad turnover by Sutter. Doesn't matter what goal he was in net. Third goal, I think Hopi would have won it back. That was a power play. And the fourth goal, also um, a bit of a defensive breakdown with the lot of line once again. And then Edler and Myers running around without very little structure. So um, on one hand, you could say that Hopi, the team didn't really help him out. On the other hand, you would have loved to see him make a save, at least on that third goal and maybe on one or two others. So all to say... It's unfortunate because at the start of the year, I, I thought that the Canucks would have a really good goalie tandem. And I thought Hopi was one of the best, if not the best option of all of all the free agent goaltenders out there. And to get him for $4 million for only two years, I thought that was good because of the whole expansion draft ramifications. And to, to end off on that, 
Um, many people ask, do you think Seattle will take Holtby? I don't, actually. I think there's going to be plenty of good goalies, better goalies, younger, cheaper, that are going to be out there. Um, so I don't anticipate Seattle taking Holtby. I expect Seattle to take one of our younger guys, either a Gaudet, a McEwen, a Lind, or a Vertanen, depending on who's still on our team and, of course, who we predict. So some goalie thoughts for you. Uh, let me know what you think. Let me, um, you know, were you surprised that it was Holtby, not Demko, last night? I think we'd all agree that Demko is the starter right now. Um, so maybe talk, let's talk about Holtby more is, are you disappointed in him? Do you think he still has time and the ability to come around and, and play better? Or do you think what we see is what we get with Holtby? So I'd love to read your comments. I'm very fascinated on your, your feedback on this. Yeah. So talk about both the, the decision to start Holtby over Demko last night. Try not to do it through 2020 hindsight. And then tell me what you think of Holtby's um, series, season, I should say, his performance overall so far this season. Leave a comment below. I'd love to read, react, and reply as always. Subscribe if you like to. Like this video if you like to. And join this channel as a member if you like to. Thanks again for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy. Take care of yourselves and take care of each other. Have a great day. God bless and go Canucks go.